come to the master class Monday. Uh, I'm the winner of the letter round with Sardar the World European edition, edition 2018. The aim of the letter round with Sardar the World is to find and support outstanding jazz talent and see its launch has been understood by many world class jazz stars, including Jamie Curran, George Benson, and many others. Last year, I have the opportunity to play in the best jazz festival in Europe, in Nice Jazz Festival, my hometown, France, <coughs> Umbria Jazz Italia, Love Supreme, Jazz Aldia and Ken, Kongsberg Jazz Festival, Open Jazz in Stuttgart, and Leopolis Jazz Festival. I played with my quintet to present my first album called Euphoria. And it was an amazing experience, like a dream for all musicians who want to play in the top of the jazz festival. This year, events uh, have taken a different course because the jazz industry, due to COVID, is on pause and festivals have been cancelled. So we felt that if you can come to see us play, we would come to you to have some fun and try to encourage you to play in your home. I would also like to commemorate the life of some of those who have been lost to COVID-19. I hope that today I can bring some light, fun and rhythm into your life and inspire you to be positive and creative. So let's go to Monday Masterclass. Okay, so <clears throat> I would like to talk to you about harmonic and melodic concepts to build a very colorful introduction. I'm going to develop this on the piano, but it can be used for all instruments. This concept can be used for a long introduction, for example, an open passage very free with your, your band, or just maybe uh, an instant composition. I will start by playing you uh, an example and I will detail each element just later. Here we go.
Okay, so you can see that here rhythm and harmony are very open. It's a moment you are alone and you have time to develop what you want, listen to the sound, the effect between the different things I'm going to talk. Um, another interesting thing here that is your two hands can have a melodic function. And the goal is to break stereotype with the left hand playing chords and the right hand playing melody or solo, like a jazz pianist play. Here, it's not the subject of this thematic. Uh, we're going to explore the different way to use your instrument and sound with another, it's another way for you to play. Um, so you can use both hands to build one, more, three, a lot of melody. Um, I'm going to, to talk about six points uh, to help you to play a very introduction or passage, very colorful. The first uh, point I'm going to talk is the use of the diminished scales. Uh, if you are, if you practice harmony in jazz, you, you know uh, that there are three diminished scales. I'm going to use these diminished scales. You know it's the same, it's G here, I need the same in B flat, D flat, E. And E. So we have this first diminished scale. I'm going to use the diminished scale of G, of C, and F. Here, the, um, the way I'm going to play it is just to play one, three notes, not the, the scales like this. It's not an exercise, it's a, uh, a way to listen the sounds and to be familiar with the effects these three scales produce when you play just one scale or when you play these two or three scales both. Let's play just the C diminished scales with two hands and just playing melodic situation. Okay, so uh, if you practice the diminished scale like this, you can use a lot of melodic and melodic elements like just uh, an idea with your uh, uh, right hand, maybe solo, just an octave, and develop all the same with your left hand. And now we're going just play three notes of the, the scales like this. explore a lot of uh, things in these scales. Here I, I play just the G minor scale but we can uh, play the three scales both and like this. Ok, 
Okay, so you are the three diminished scales, and uh, you can play melodic fragment, transpose melodic fragment like this, for example. If I, I'm in C, in this scale. Interesting thing in the diminished scales, uh, it's you can find a lot of triads in these scales. Basically, if I, I play the C diminished scales in this scale, you can find four triads: the triad of C, the triad of E flat, F sharp, and A, or the same minor. And it can be a, a very um, pretty effect to play. Just try it like this. The same thing with, with all diminished scales in, in G. You have uh, G, B flat, D flat, E. And uh, you can see there are common notes between the, the scales, and if you play the common notes, the, the effect when you change the scales is interesting. Let's test to play the C and G diminished scale with triads and common notes. We can alter by E flat and for the C and B flat with a G and B flat is a common note here. Maybe. It's for the, the triads you can find and explore. Um, another chord you can you can play and I like to use. It's a, a symmetric chord with two hands. For example, in G, the chord is this chord. It's very. It's a big power because you have all the, the important notes in the, the, in the chord. Your left hand play the 7, the 3rd, 13, and the extension with your right hand. Flat 9, 5th, and the root here. And these chords can be. Sorry. Can be. They are symmetric, so you can transpose this. Like this, you can explore all the progression here. Um, it's very cool to play this because you can play an arpeggio like. in C, you, you find the scores for C, and you can uh, transpose that in F, it's the same thing, and you can play all the scores.
Okay, so it's a, a kind of some dark sound, so uh, use that when you are in a melodic situation like this, for example. So it's the the point we can talk about the the diminished scales. I know the scales I, I used in my introduction was the pentatonic scales, um, but I play a pentatonic scale because they are a common note with the diminished scales, and when you alternate diminished scales and pentatonic scales, you obtain a very pretty effect. For example, if I play an F minor pentatonic, like this, um, there are a lot of common notes with well, the three diminished scales, but if we take the F minor pentatonic and the C diminished scales, so this pentatonic and this diminished scales, we have interesting common notes, the B flat, the E flat, and the C. And here we are going to alter two different nature of scales, so the effect will be more interesting. Let's play just a melodic way and alternate F minor pentatonic and C diminished scale. The effect is very interesting when you play the note, she is not in the scale. Here I play the E, but the A is another door to enter in the scales. Let's enter in scale with the A now. You want to create a, a tension, it's interesting to play the note with a chromatism. Here, the A is just next to the A, the E to the E flat. Uh, F sharp, it's a cool way too. You can reproduce this with all pentatonic and diminished scales you, you want. Maybe I can take the E uh, minor pentatonic uh, and the, the diminished scales I want to play after. Maybe the F uh, diminished scales. So E minor and F diminished scales. you can use and uh, let's let's test the the alternation uh, between a C a, a diminished scales and a, a hybrid pentatonics okay
So it was the third point, and the point number four uh, is the use of the low and high range of your instrument. Um, feel free to use the extreme of your instrument if you are alone. It's a perfect way to use and sound here or here. I like to play. 7 flat 9 chords in the low range, it's a dark sound and it's, it's pretty cool to play here. You can voice your chords like this for a C7 chord. But here. Feel free to, to play your scales here. Because w when you play with your band, it's I think it's more difficult to play here because your, your bass player uh, will be not happy if you take your solo <laughs> here. But if you are alone, it's a, it's a good way to to play here. Um, okay, and for the, the high range you can uh, use the third or sixth like Okay, and I just play a dissonance to introduce the with point number five, it's the use of the dissonance because here it's an excellent way to to play minor seconds. When you play diminished scales, for example, you have minor seconds uh, in a C in a scale. You have minor seconds here, 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 and uh, let's start to play dissonance in these scales. You have this uh, dissonance in, in this scale and your hybrid metallic stomp too. Yeah. Okay, and this for dissonance and the other dissonance you can use is the clusters. Clusters basically or it's a way to play a lot of notes together in the low range because it's an interesting, an interesting sound if you, you use your sustained pedal and just listen to the sound oh, here oh staccato clusters and if you feel that the audience not listening to you because she's not, uh, she she you feel you what you play is very strange for the audience, and you want to captive the audience, you can use your elbow and uh, believe me the the effect will be rounded like this. Oh. Okay, so it's a, a small point, but it's pretty to you to use that. Um, the point number six, and it will be the last point, the use of pedal. Uh, the use of pedal can be used to create a big tension during your introduction, or just to create the transition between the intro, if you're playing an intro, and the next tune you're going to play. Um, an example can be use the chromatism with the pedal like this. <laughs> A 
I just play triad. But you can play the triad of the diminished scales we we talk. Uh, maybe in C, the triad of C, E flat, F sharp, and A. Okay, so it's the, a good way to create a tension in your your introduction. And uh, another example is to create tension here, for example, on a C7 chord by playing a lot of variations of your your C7 chord. The variation can be can be that, uh, for example, a C. 7 sus flat 9 with the 13 or the flat 13 uh, C7 the C7 of the diminished scale So let's start to play all these versions with you left hand playing the pedal of C. Okay, and finally, it can we be even more surprising if you if you go to E minor, E minor after, because if you know classical cadence and the use of the Napolitan six here, it's very surprising. For example, you are in your pedal of C. Okay, I do hope you have some fun and look forward to seeing you soon, everyone. If you wish to make a donation to Goonj, there is a donate button below this video. It's an organization in India and who helps the population. They need your help even more today. Bye bye, take care and see you soon.